Oh my God. Don't run. Hello. Don't run. Don't be scared of Big Papa. You said don't run. Don't run. How we doing, sister? Let me see your face. I'm doing good. All right. Don't be showing no body parts. I just want a little cleavage. Okay. I'm a big fan of, of Javante Tank Davis. Tank Davis, as long as he's not bunny hopping. But they said that he was trying to buy back his block. He bought back his block and somebody set one of the houses on fire or something. Black people are dormant and oppressed about like certain issues and they're not as proactive as I've seen in the past. Men hate us. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of why, men hate us. Why, I don't know why. Why you say the brothers of Baltimore hate the sisters? Because they, they say it, they show it. I got a friend. I He's like, he's black. He's like tall, 6'2", but bro, he's stuck on white women. And I'll be trying to tell him. I be trying to tell them, like, bro, white women ain't the move. You know what I'm saying? It's like. What's popping, family? I see we got a lot of Negroes in the conscious community, the YouTube and struggle streamers trying to benefit themselves from, you know, my presence and popularity within the movement. You know, a lot of dusty Negroes trying to rebirth themselves off of my name. I see y'all, but I'm not going to waste my time mentioning you. They just want me to mention a name so they can get some likes, views, and clicks. I'm not doing it this year. I've outgrown that right now. I've outgrown that. My lower back is hurting a little bit. I need me a lower back massage. Where my Detroit massage therapist at? Where my Phoenix, Arizona massage therapist at? I might got to hit up the massage therapist in Phoenix, Arizona tomorrow. We got the black female Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona massage therapist. Detroit, Michigan massage therapist, the lower back. Lower back. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never, my brother. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never, my brother. <clears throat> Black queens forever, snow bunnies never, my brother. Ugh. Had some good food tonight. Shout out to Sister Shalanda, Brother Henry and Company for treating me to dinner. Shout out to the Grassroots Bookstore. Good job today. What we got? Got some food right now. Mmm. Queens forever, snow bunnies never. Who tapping in? Let's tap in. Let's tap in. How much for a feature on your next album? We can negotiate that. How we doing, beautiful? Your phone freezing up, beautiful? My Scottsdale, Arizona African design. Oh my God. Don't run. Hello. Don't run. Don't be scared of Big Papa. You said don't run. 
How we doing, sister? Let me see your face. I'm doing here. good. It's so good to meet you. Likewise. What's your name, sister? My name is Jade. And where you based at, Sister Jade? Cleveland, Ohio. I love Cleveland, Ohio, Sister Jade. That's one of my big cities right there. Really? Yeah. When I first blew up and took over the Black Consciousness Movement worldwide, Cleveland, Ohio, mm -hmm. was one of the first places I ever <laughs> Cleveland, wow. our first six cities. Wow. So what's okay. Talk to me to Cleveland. Here's what I'm going to ask you, Sister mm -hmm. Jade. Mm -hmm. We're seeing all these reports about Black children being kidnapped in, in Ohio. Yes. Yes, in Ohio, but specifically Cleveland. 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 Can you give us any insight? Have you seen anything? Have you heard anything? What can you tell us that we are not? learning on the news about the abduction and sex trafficking of black women girls in particular in cleveland what can you tell us well i will not lie to you in the specific area that i am in right now there are there aren't any there aren't any children that i have heard of personally that have been missing but it says on the news that it's specifically in inner city cleveland but i haven't seen too much of them you know um or i don't really know the families but through the internet i do see it a lot you know for the most, most part but um everything that you see on, on the internet is actually accurately correct okay so you, you don't know anyone who no you don't know if you have been abducted or you don't know of any adults who have had their children abducted not anyone that i know personally no okay 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 so what are the biggest challenges for black folks in cleveland what, what what do cleveland need to work on you tapped out okay no problem Sister Linda, where you at, beautiful? Hi, I did not. Um, greetings all. Greetings, team. I did not mean to hit that, but I'm here. I can really do that. What's going on in Baltimore, sister? Uh, um, gentrification, stage one. Stage one. What's stage one? Break it down. Um, tearing down of the um, projects, rebuilding around the city. Um, a lot of people think it's a bad thing. I didn't mean to hit that. Let me um, cut on the light so you don't think I'm being weird. Okay. Turn the light on, gorgeous. I'm in the bed. You in the bed? All right. Don't be showing no body parts. I just want a little cleavage. Cut it out. Okay. So is gentrification a bad thing? Why is it a bad thing? Why does black people look at it like, oh, they're gentrifying, they're making things too expensive for us to live, when um, Baltimore is like 75% um, uh, full of vacant housing, the houses are vacant. Why gentrification, gentrification, am I saying it right, a bad thing? I think it looks good. I don't like seeing ran down housing, houses and boarded up buildings and abandoned businesses and but but it runs us out though gentrification is about hiking up the cost of living and forcing african people onto the streets but if something is built back better wouldn't it and, and from and it was an uh, old building that was but up there it's being, it's being built back better for who and at whose expense Urban renewal is nothing but Negro removal. Urban renewal is nothing but Negro removal. Why, why do you say that? Because at all black people can't, um, some, some black people can afford it. Some, the operative word, Sister Linda, 
is some black people can afford it. Middle class, upper class, and elites. But working class and poverty class Africans cannot afford to live in those neighborhoods. And because we work for white people, they know what our incomes are. So what they do is they engineer the cost of the real estate and the real estate tax, and they make it just high enough where it is beyond our reach of being able to afford it. And that's how they push us out of our neighborhoods. The banks are working along with the developers to remove blacks. Urban renewal is a cold word for Negro removal. Okay, I, I understand. I do understand. I am from DC and I can't afford to live there, so I do understand. But you asked me what's going on in Baltimore, so. Uh, yeah, you know, I saw something where they said that uh, they were selling houses, the city, has a program in Baltimore where they're selling houses for a dollar or something like that, or is that just a scam? It's a scam. It's not flat out, oh, here's a dollar, no. It's like a whole bunch of things that come along with it. Um, you still have to have a certain amount of um, credit. You still have to have a certain amount of employment history. You still have to have a certain amount of money sitting in the bank. It's not just here, I have a dollar, no. It's just like a, um, a scammy. But it is it's, it is really low. I'll say like twenty five thousand dollars you can get a house. Okay. Now I will heard you know I'm a fan of you can get a uh, fixer upper. You can get a fixer upper. Mm. Got you. Uh, Gervonta Tank Davis. You know who he is, right? I do. Okay, I'm a big fan of of Gervonta Tank Davis. Tank Davis, as long as he's not bunny hopping. But they said that he was trying to buy back his block. He bought back his block and somebody set one of the houses on fire or something? Yeah, one of, just... one of the houses going on fire, but nobody set it on fire. You have to understand, like I said, it's like 75% of vacant homes here in Baltimore because Baltimore is a um, an import city. Like, we're a harbor town, so there was a lot of... Um, factories and everything that was um taken out so black people couldn't thrive because they was thriving without college degrees so when they f figured out oh, black people are buying homes and houses and putting their kids through college without degree you know degrees let's take these factories out of here like they did detroit so because it's a factory town they took the factories out you have a whole bunch of vacant homes this is just started like in the late 70s and stuff so you have a lot of vacant homes so when it gets cold you have the crackheads and things like that they go in and they make little fires in these abandoned homes they smoke and crack they're trying to stay warm and shit and that's what the fire was from nobody like poor gasoline let's set the block on fire no they just happened to be on the block that he bought there's fires popping all around the city all every day uh, 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 okay Okay. Um. So I just wanted to um talk about that. I didn't mean I didn't mean to hit the button. I swear to God, because I was in the dark just listening. I want to say hello to everybody that's here, and I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Also, I sent you an inquiry um that you um have yet to respond to, and that was about about five days ago. Uh, you, you text me, or you sent it as a uh. I, I texted. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. I text. Yeah. I have money to spend. Okay, gorgeous. <laughs> we on it. We on it. Say it again. I said we on it. We gonna take care. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the information you give the community. I see you all over. I see you trending. I'm so proud of you. Finally, they're listening to you, and I just want to say I'm here for it. Appreciate you, gorgeous. We are gonna talk soon. Happy 2024. You too, babe. All right, sister. Let be blessed, gorgeous. Yes, sir. Who tapping in with the prince? Who tapping in with the prince? Who tapping in with the prince? Hey. How are we doing? I'm good. How are you? Happy Kwanzaa. Where you based that in the world? Los 
Angeles, California. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona right now. All right, we right next door. Yes, ma'am. And I will be in Sacramento on the 18th of January in Antioch on the 19th of January in Oakland on the 20th of January. Okay, that, that was going to be my question um, when you were coming to Cali, but you know, Northern and Southern California are two different states in my mind. Yes, ma'am. You ain't lying. Night and day, yes. night and day. <laughs> so I just wanted to get on here to kind of, that was the question, when are you coming to LA? And also, do you know what's going on out here oh. with our own? Uh, gentrification issues and just um, the homelessness. How bad is the homelessness in Los Angeles for African people? How bad is the gentrification and how bad is the uh, Latino racism that I'm hearing about out there? So I will, I will say this um, because I love, love my, my brown brothers and sisters mm -hmm. every Everybody is not on that racial thing, but, um, you know, it's the plot of the system to have us against each other, and some of them feed into it, and some of them don't. But I just feel like anywhere in a city where you have imported um, a certain population to undermine, you know, the Black people, is going to be tension. So I wouldn't say that, you know, I can't really, I don't see it on a, a daily basis, but I do see it in certain parts of the city. It's just like microaggressions okay. and, and systematic um, racism. Um, I'll give you an example. We have a radio station out here called Power 106. That station um, plays all hip hop music. They got their popularity by playing hip hop music and they never want to hire black people. I don't know if you know who Big Boy is. You know who Big Boy is? Outcast. Um, not from Outcast. He's a radio personality based out here in LA. He's really tight with Snoop Dogg, whatever. So he was on Power 106 for a long time. They fired him. Uh, there were protests um, saying like, oh, Oh, you know, you don't hire black people and that quietly was swept under the rug. So I just feel like, um, how do I want to word this? I just feel like the pe people out here are dormant and oppressed. Black people are dormant and oppressed about like certain issues and they're not as proactive as I've seen in the past or in other cities. So we do have a really big problem out here. For example, as far as gentrification, I feel like racism in general, we're hit from like all directions, right? So it's never overt. It's always covert out here in Los Angeles. And that would just like, you know, opportunities, nepotism, when it comes to housing, there was on the news, this was, this made, I don't know if it made national news, but it's been on the news all over the internet. We have a black mayor of the city named Karen Bass, and she was um, criticized for not doing enough for the homeless people. There was a black woman that had two children and she, her baby died under the freeway because she was not able to get, you know, um, any assistance, any homeless assistance. So what they're alleging is that because of the nepotism that's taking place and because we're a smaller population, I think we're about 8% of the population out here in LA, that um, the resources aren't going to, they're going to people of color, but just not us, right? Mm -hmm. So that's been really big in the news. And I just think we need someone like you. Um, I think we have a Black Lives Matter out here. We have like um, the new Black Panthers out here, but I don't really know what they're doing in the way of, you know, like bringing awareness to the plight of African Americans in this city. Okay. Now, what about our level of organization as a community are we organized are we just talking in la is there mobilization uh is there movement on the ground or are we just passively 
accept what's being done to us? I think we passively accept to to a degree. We just have a lot of disorganization within our own culture. We have black people from, you know, different parts of the di diaspora. We have a lot of Belizeans. We have a lot of Africans. We just have people that really don't align with, you know, what our struggle is. I feel like um, there's a lot of infighting as far as okay like we have karen bass as the as the mayor right she's connected to one of the biggest churches out here i think it's los angeles huh mayor of los angeles is a black woman. yes as a black woman but they're you know accusing her of being a talking head so i don't really know what initiatives are that you know are taking place out here but i just feel like on the west coast in general there's just not enough awareness. There's not enough mobilization. There's not enough unity. Um, and it's kind of on the hush hush because I actually love California, but I just feel like black people get exploited out here the most, right? So this is Hollywood, this is Tinseltown. So people are gonna do what they need to do um, to align with the powers that be. And also, you know, um, play along to get along okay okay thank you for that insight queen that was a good education there. good education i'm gonna keep you posted on my next visit to la do you have my cell number i don't have, have your cell number <laughs> down because i want you to text my name so once i have an la date i can send you the flyer. okay so i if i do that i think i'm gonna like in yeah, this live got a pen over there. uh yes i have my journal okay so I'm going to write it down. But basically, I'm just encouraging you and begging you and asking you to um, do some do some work out here. Get connected with some people out here. I can try to connect you with some people. I think were you gonna speak out here and then they canceled your your? Uh, no, I've I've spoken out there. The last time I was out there two years ago. I did a four stop tour. I spoke in San Diego. Okay. I spoke in Lamar Park. Yes, at, that that's the epicenter of black culture out here. Yeah, I've spoken in Lamar Park a few times. Um, but yeah, I was there about two years ago. I got a pretty strong support base in LA. Yeah, I, I would love to have, have you come back out here, I you know, and talk to the people. I do poetry. I'm an educator. But go ahead and give me your... Uh, 215. 215. 989. Uh-huh. 9858. 9858. Yeah. Okay. Have a blessed new year. You too, Queen. All right. Thank you okay. for your time. Be safe. Okay. Who tapping in? We want to know what's going on in your city. Who tapping in? We want to know what's going on in your city. Give us a war update. We need a war update. Who, who tapping in? Tap in season. Give us an update on your city. Tap in season. Give us Hello. Give us an update on your city. Tap in season. How we doing? Good. Hey. Oh, look at this beautiful little baby. All right. Well, where you based that, Queen? Baltimore. Baltimore. Talk to me about Baltimore. What's going on in Baltimore? What's the black situation in Baltimore? Um. I think a lot of kids here are a little lost. They probably need some type of like organization, um, stuff like that. It's they ready for war, but um, they need like a lot of organization in Baltimore. Like it's 
It's crazy. Yeah. The situation like, like women in Baltimore. Men hate us. I don't know. A lot of why, men hate us. I don't know why. Why you, why you say the brothers in Baltimore hate the sisters? Because they, they say it. They show it. Um, you know, not, not just dating outside of, um, you know, not just, you know, them dating other women or whatever. It's the stuff that they say. They tell us. They, they say it. They come out straight out and say it. It's tired of black women. You know, we don't, we talk too much. We don't know how to shut the F up. <laughs> stuff like that. So. Mm. How do you think we can make that better? I don't know. I, I don't know. That's what I want to know. I don't know. I mean, I don't have have any men like black men saying like they hate me personally i'm just saying like i hear it a lot i feel you i feel you i feel you what's the system baltimore public schools public school well right now i know right now i'm moving back to anne arundel county but baltimore is, is not good because my daughter she's in baltimore county right now but um you know, I noticed like the change since she moved, since we moved out here to Baltimore County, she started going to school here. She's been having like a lot of issues um, because like a lot of kids in this area are, are like exposed to different things mm -hmm. um, that she's not used to in schools that she went to in like Howard County and Anne Arundel County. Mm -hmm. So, Mansa, <laughs> you wanna, cause he wanna stay up. This is Mansa, this, this little boy right here. What you doing? He's the one. In the morning, and so I'm gonna get you. <laughs> he don't care. He don't care. Yeah, you can go in there with that, Dad. Thanks for tapping in with us, sister. I appreciate it. All, All right. right, peace. Be blessed. All right. You too. Tap in season. Who tapping in with, with the Black City report? Who tapping in with a Black City report? Who tap? Who tapping in with a Black Black City report? Whoa, Doctor Umar. How we doing? Look. I'm a huge fan, bro. I'm a huge fan. You like changed my life in so many ways. Like you, you changed the way I view like just like the world. You know what I'm saying? Just like completely overall. But I need your help. You base that. I, Where you base that? You said what? Where you base that? Oh, I'm. I live in Washington. Washington State or Washington D.C. Uh, Washington State. I live in uh, Bremerton. It's pretty. How pretty. far is it from Seattle? From Seattle, it's like an hour, like a quick little like ferry ride. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What's yeah. going on here without people? I just need your help. I need your help. Look, I got a friend. I He's like, he's black. He's like tall, 6'2", but bro, he's stuck on white women. And I'll be trying to tell him. I'll be trying to tell him, like, bro, white women ain't the move. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's black queens forever, snow bunnies never. But he just, you know what? He don't want to listen. And like, I, I just need your help. Like, what do I tell him? What do I do? How do I, how do I fix this? You might can't save him, bro. You, you, you might have to release him to the snow bunny brigade. For real, is he too far gone? It all depends. If he don't want to come back home, then we got to let him go. Damn. I don't know. It's like, I want to save him. That's the thing. Because, like, this is, like, this is, like, one of my best friends, you know? This is, like, this is my dog. But he just, he don't listen. He don't listen. You know what I'm saying? Well, I hope he wake up soon before they catch him in the Me Too. He don't want to catch no Me Too. What's a Me Too? What does that mean? It was when they, you know, they set you up for sex abuse allegations and all kind of stuff like that but i'm saying bro and like if he falls into that trap it's like i don't know what to do because like i warned him you know what i'm saying but i don't know he just like he's just he's a bunny hopper and like i don't know what to do it's like because i like, just my dog we've been friends about like 10 years but he's just, he's just stuck on these white women oh he might overcome it he might overcome it but you can't save him though. If he don't want to be saved, you're not gonna be able to save him, King. You might gotta release him to the snow bunnies. Got you, bro. Oh my god. I just I don't know. I've been like I don't know. I don't know where it all started. I don't know where it went wrong. Cause we was like we was like this, you know, we was both like that on that black woman grind. And then he would just like I don't know, he just switched up. 
fucked up on me. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I've never liked a white woman in my life. Actually, I used to. But like I said, you saved me. You made me like just change the way I think, my entire mindset. And like, I thank you a lot for that, Dr. Lamar, really. No. But I just, I don't know what to tell my friend. I don't know where he switched up. I think it was like maybe ninth, 10th grade, but he just hasn't been the same since. Wow. I hope he come out of it, but if he don't, brother, we might got to free him up. What else is going on uh, with our people out there where you at in Washington? What's the challenges for us? What, what's the challenges for the young black males? Honestly, I mean, at least from what I've seen, it's not like too crazy out in Bremerton, you know what I'm saying? It's more of a mix. There are like a lot of like fake black men, not fake, but there are like a lot of black men out there who act like thugs, you know what I'm saying? It's like, mm -hmm. I don't know, they like, they like, they fit themselves into the stereotypes of like white people give us, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't know. As a black man, it just hurts to see that. Because like a lot of these people ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like just a lot of fake thugs out there. I feel you. I feel you. I feel it's you. Like, I mean, I'm really young, so I haven't seen anything too crazy. But like, you know. I don't know. I got you, man. Thanks for tapping in, young brother. Be safe out there. I hope hey. to meet you. I got you. Hey, thank you, Dr. Lamar. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and save my friend from the trap, all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Black Queens forever. Black Queens forever. Snow bunnies yes, never. Sir. All right, God. All right, I'll talk to you later. Love. I got to get back out to Portland and what Seattle. Where are my Seattle Africans? It's time for me to come back to Seattle. Where my Seattle Africans? We doing Black, black City check-in. Who next? Who checking in? We check. Checking in where we at. Who, who who going live to check in? Tap in, tap in, tap in. Who tapping in? Who tapping in? Who tapping in? I'm not getting no request. They might have shut me down. I'm not getting no tapping alerts. Where the tapping at? They not letting y'all. Uh, they not letting y'all request. Can't nobody send me a request. They shut it down. Instagram shut down the request line. Instagram shut down the request line. Instagram shut down my request line. What kind of shit is that? How are they going to shut down the request line? They shut down the request line. 